Hi there, I'm Scott Hall with Moroso Performance, and thanks for joining us for this episode of Moroso TV. Well, today we're going to go inside the oil pan and show you the ins and outs, the theories, and the engineering behind trapdoor baffling. Now we're going to show you some of the science and engineering behind exactly how a trapdoor baffle is designed and what its function really is. Do this drop-in trapdoor baffle assembly for the BMW. This is simply an aluminum solid tray with an opening for the pickup that has two separate walls, each containing an aluminum trapdoor. Now there's two holes at the rear that allow the oil to go from the non-pickup area through the trapdoor to the pickup area. Now these trap doors all have a wire hinge assembly that actually has stops on them that only allow the door to open about a third of the way. Now if the door opens any more than this, the problem is when the oil wants to actually go back through the trap door, if the door is open too high, it'll actually allow so much oil to escape back to where it came from, the door doesn't close in time, thus kind of disregarding what we're trying to accomplish here. So by having that door only about a third of the way open, that transfers enough fluid into the pickup area to actually fill the sump. Now typically, most fluids, obviously, are self-leveling. Well, it's the movement of the car that causes it to shift up and down. So for the most part, we don't need a huge transition of area across the trapdoor baffle. Now in this case, we show you a cutaway of an oil pan where you can see the pickup box in the pickup, the trapdoor, and where the oil would be coming from in this front sump here. Once the oil transfers to the rear, this door opens, hits the stop, and goes in and helps fill up the, the pickup area. Now the weight of the trap door really has no bearing on its performance. Because a lightweight trap door is obviously going to be fast to open, but it's not going to be as quick to close. Where a heavier trap door is going to be harder to open, and even though you think she's going to try to close quicker, it's ultimately the weight and the movement of the fluid that's actually closing that door and determining at which rate that occurs. So for the most part, we build based on the material of the oil pan and all the trap door assemblies and not so much the weight of the material to help change the performance of the trap door. Okay, the first example we're gonna go over is a drag race street strip style horizontal trapdoor baffle. Now this is the most common one that Moroso has offered. We've had them in Chevrolets, Fords, Chryslers, Sport Compact, and everything up to top fuel all the way down to your common sportsman racer. Now the engineering is very much the same through all these. Basically this, a horizontal trapdoor baffle inside the oil pan. Now the concept behind this is that under acceleration, we're getting all the oil in the sump back to where the pickup is around the oil pump. Under deacceleration, when the oil is trying to move forward, our trap door simply closes and maintains enough oil in the rear of the sump around the pickup to maintain oil pressure under deacceleration. The next trapdoor baffling system we'd like to show you is the application for road racing oil pans. Now in road racing, we have acceleration, we have deacceleration, and we've also got left and right hand turns. Now quite often, the duration of these movements lasts a long time, and simply the oil that's in the sump runs away from the pickup, and eventually you start seeing lower and no oil pressure by the end of one of these movements. Now what Moroso has produced is what we call a diamond-shaped trapdoor baffle. What this is, is it's four sides, each with its own individual trap door. Now regardless of the movement of the car, it ensures that oil is able to make it to the center of the oil pan and not leave that area that is being guarded around the pickup. This guarantees that we have sufficient oil around the oil pump pickup to maintain great oil pressure regardless of the movement of your car. Now this diamond shaped trapdoor baffle can be installed into any foreign or domestic pan that Moroso offers and in some cases you can actually still use the OEM pickup. Another option that Moroso offers are drop in baffles. Now in this case we're showing you a BMW M3 pan and from the factory it comes with a simple splash guard. 
Well, this is okay for normal driving on the street. But when you have a car like this and you go do spirited driving or track days, this is not gonna hold up in controlling the oil and giving you good oil pressure when you're out on the racetrack running the car hard. So what Moroso has are assemblies that are able to go right into the OEM pan. Once this splash baffle's been removed, we're able to take this assembly from Moroso and it falls right into the pan. Once it's installed in the pan, you can see simply we're able to attach it to the existing bosses that were either tack welded or fastened into the oil pan. Once this component is in, you can see how much better of a job it does shrouding where the oil pump pickup would be and giving you better oil control on turns and acceleration and deacceleration. The nice thing about these drop-in baffles too is they're usually able to work with a stock OEM pickup. So it really is the cleanest way to take your OEM car but gain the performance of a true road racing baffle. The next oil pan I want to show you is an oval track oil pan. Now what makes this pan so complex is the amount of trapdoor assemblies that need to go into these pans to make it function and work right during a single lap of an oval track race. Now this pan is a small block Chevy pan, has a wide footprint, but it's very shallow so we don't have a lot of oil to start out with in this pan. This pan actually has five trapdoor baffle assemblies in it. It actually has two runners that each contain a trapdoor. Our horizontal trap door, a lot like our drag racing setup had, and this smaller side one over here by where the pump and pickup sit. Now what makes it tough is that when you're going down a straightaway, we're obviously using this trap door baffle to control acceleration and deacceleration. But then when you have the lateral g-force change going into a short or a long sweeping turn, now we're trying to control this oil left to right. And at the same time, when the car picks up on the throttle again, we need to direct that little bit of oil we have back to that pickup. Hence why we have these runners that almost create three different sumps to get that oil back to the pickup area. It's a small pan, but it has a lot of engineering and a lot of complexity that Moroso has developed over all the years to make it work right. Well, we hope this video has helped explain exactly how a trapdoor baffle works. We've shown you all kinds of different applications from drag racing to road racing to oval track racing, even spirited driving. As you can see, the same trapdoor assembly, depending on how it's laid out, will certainly make an oil pan work or not work very well. Maintaining good oil pressure during the highest performance output of your engine is what the most critical attribute to these Moroso pans are. And for 50 years, Moroso has been developing and always improving on these designs. If you have any questions, you can call the Moroso Tech Department or go to moroso.com where we can help you out.